my dear students om asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrityorma amrutam gamaya om shanti 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 vakratunda mahakaya surya koti samarpraba निर्विघ्नम कुर्मे देवो सर्व कार्यासु सर्वर्दा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः ओम शांति गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक क्लास फॉर ग्रेड 3 दैट इज क्लास 3 द इंग्लिश लेसन नंबर 3 हाउ द कैंगरो गॉट इट्स लेग्स how the kangaroo got its legs here in this lesson we are going to learn about how kangaroo grown up how kangaroo got its legs it's a lesson or a story here we can all right so now let us start the lesson by solving this riddle by solving this riddle okay so solve this riddle it's a five letter word you keep your pen pencil and eraser in it okay it's a small bag a pelican also has it a pelican also has it what's it it's a pouch right it's a pouch the kangaroo is also having the pouch to carry its baby to carry its baby solve this riddle it's a five letter word your pen you you keep your pen pencil and eraser in it it's a small bag a pelican also has it it what's it it's a pouch okay now let us read the lesson and try to understand the story word by word okay let us read long ago the kangaroo pronoun pronounced as kangaroo kangaroo okay long ago the kangaroo did not look like the picture you in your book long ago the kangaroo didn't look like the picture you ke- you can see right now he was a small woolly animal woolly means a rabbit is having a woolly the squirrel is having a wool wool like right woolly right long ago the kangaroo did not like this picture in your book he was a small woolly animal he had four short legs and looked more like a rabbit he had four short legs and looked more like a rabbit he was very proud the kangaroo the kangaroo danced in the desert in the middle of australia he was very proud he had four short legs and looked more like a rabbit he was very proud the kangaroo danced in the desert in the middle of australia he wanted to be different from all the other animals he wanted to be different from all other animals he wanted to be popular he wanted to be popular so he went to the little god wall and said make me different from all other animals so he wanted to be popular so he went to the little god wall wall and said make me different from all other animals okay up jumped the little dog little god and shouted go away up jumped the little god and shouted go away so the kangaroo danced in the desert in the middle of australia all right here wool means covered with the wool the hairs are like a wool desert means a dry sandy area where there is a hardly any rainfall okay desert means uh, like rajasthan or ladakh okay that is like a desert 
right a dry sandy area where there is a hardly any rainfall that is called desert popular means liked by one and all liked by one and all liked by one and all this is he wanted to be popular and different okay okay shall i read you read for you once again long ago the kangaroo did not look like this picture in your book it was not looking like this earlier okay he was a small woolly animal he was a small woolly animal he had four short legs and looked more like a rabbit he looked more like a rabbit he was he was very proud very proud the kangaroo danced in the desert in the middle of australia it found in the middle of australia it danced in the desert desert in the middle of australia he wanted to be different from all other animals he wanted to be popular so he went to the little go little god wall and said make me different from all other animals all other animals right he had a wish he had a wish so went he, to the little god wall at the first time okay he wanted to be liked by everyone more popular so he wanted to so he went to the little god wall and said make me different from all other animals up jumped the little god and shouted go away go away so the kangaroo danced in the desert in the middle of australia here woolly means covered with a wool desert means a dry sandy area where there is a hardly any rainfall popular means liked by one and all okay this is all about the kangaroo how it look earlier and he wanted he wanted the different from all other animals and he wanted to be popular so he went to the god little god wall and said make me different from all other animals up jumped the little god and shouted go away so that kangaroo danced in the desert in the middle of australia okay so now it went it went sorry he went to the middle god wing and said he went to the middle god the first god wall and second god is wing okay he went to the middle god wing and said make me different from all other animals he went to the middle god wing on said make me different from all other animals make me popular the middle god shouted without a smile said go away go away okay he went to the middle god wing and said make me different from all other animals make me popular okay he, he again he has the same wish make me different and make me popular means liked by one and all right the middle god stood middle god stood and without a smile said go away yer nintu he bidtane mundu hogu hogu mundu hogu anta then kangaroo went to the great god wong then the kangaroo went the great god wong and said make me different from all other animals make me very popular he had the same wish and he went to the great god he went to the great god wong then the kangaroo went to the great god wong and said make me different from all other animals make me very popular make me very popular make me very popular right up jumped the great god and shouted yes i will yes i will he called dingo angry dog dingo who was always hungry and always thirsty dingo the dog angry dog dingo angry dog he jumped the great up jumped the great god and shouted yes i will he called the dingo angry dog dingo who was always hungry and always dusty 
Wang Shao showed Dingo the kangaroo and shouted, Dingo, get up, Dingo, do you see the kangaroo? He wants to be popular, make him so. Make him so. He jumped the great god, up jumped the great god and shouted, Yes, I will. He called Dingo, ang Dingo the angry dog, Dingo, who was always hungry and always dusty. Wang shouted Dingo, the kangaroo, and shouted. Wang showed Dingo, the kangaroo, and shouted, Dingo, get up. Dingo, do you see the kangaroo? Do you see the kangaroo? He wants to be popular. Make him so. Make him so. Right? Up jumped the dingo. Up jumped the dingo, the angry dog. Angry dog. Dingo. And began running after the kangaroo. Off went the kangaroo on his four legs, four short legs like a rabbit. Up jumped the dingo. Up jumped the dingo, angry dog, angry dog, dingo, and began running after the kangaroo. Off went the kangaroo on his four short legs like a rabbit. What the dingo did? He up jumped and he began to run after the kangaroo. Off went the kangaroo on his four short legs like a rabbit. When the dingo started running after him, he also went very fast like a rabbit with his with his four short legs right he ran through he ran through the desert he ran through the mountains he ran through the swamps he ran he ran till his front legs ached he ran through the desert he ran through the mountains. He ran through the swamps. He ran till his short front legs ached. Ached. He had to still run dingo, angry dog dingo, still ran kangaroo, dear old kangaroo. Okay. What happens, you know? The, the dog dingo, dingo, angry dog, he ran after him. So the kangaroo went through the desert and ran through the wind, ran through the mountains and ran through the swamps. He ran till his front leg ached, means pained. He had to, he had to, because if he stops, hungry dog will eat him. Here swamp means low laying lands where water collects. <clears throat> water collects. Swamps means low laying lands where water collects. Okay, acid means paint. Acid means backache. You used to say backache. Okay, backache, legache. Okay, neckache, like we used to call. Ban ban together, headed ban together until that's called act. Swap means low laying lands where water collects. Okay, he ran through the desert, he ran through the mountains, he ran through the swaps. He ran till his front leg ached. Mundin kalgul banagli kattu. Ali tashtu tu oda kattu. He had to. If he stops, angry dog will eat. Angry dog dingo will eat him. Still ran dingo. Angry dog dingo. Still ran kangaroo. Dear old kangaroo. Right? He ran till his front leg ached. He had to. Still ran. Still ran dingo. Angry dog dingo still ran kangaroo, dear old kangaroo, right? So he ran through the trees. He didn't stop himself. He ran through the trees. He ran through the long grass. He ran through the trees. He ran through the long grass and he ran through the short grass. He ran till his hid hands, pronounced as hands, okay, through the short grass. He ran till his hands, hands. He ran till his hands. Hand means back. Hand. Okay. Hand. Pronounced as hand. Legs ached. Means 
बैक लेग्स एक हैंड मीन्स बैक लेग्स हैंड मीन्स बैक लेग्स ही रैन टिल इज हैंड फ्रंट एज हैंड लेग्स एक ही हैड टू दे रैन टिल दे लेफ्ट द डेट बिहाइंड एंड केम टू अ रिवर ओके सी यर द रैन ही रैन थ्रू द ट्रीज he ran through the long grass he ran through the short grass he ran till his hands legs ached hand hack hand legs ached he had to they ran till they left the desert behind and came to a river came to a river right so he left behind all the desert mountains swamps trees long grass and short grass and he reached to the river okay there was no bridge there was no bridge there was no ferry but it means a boat that carries people and goods across the river ferry there was no bridge there was no ferry the kangaroo did not know how to cross the river how to cross the river there was no bridge there was no ferry the kangaroo did not know how to cross the river how to cross the river right there was no bridge there was no ferry the kangaroo did not know how to cross the river so he stood on his legs and began to hop he stood on his legs and began to hop here hop means to jump high and leap hop like frogs hopping like a frog you know hopping right he stood on his legs and he began to hop he hopped and hopped and hopped he hopped and hopped and hopped just like a kangaroo does now just like a kangaroo does now there was no bridge there was no ferry the kangaroo did not know how to cross the river so he stood on his legs and he began to hop he hopped and hopped and hopped just like a kangaroo does, does now what the kangaroo does now he is having a front legs are very short right he had two he had two because still a ran dingo angry dog dingo what the angry dog dingo still ran behind him okay the kangaroo hopped faster and faster the kangaroo hopped faster and faster he had to he tucked gathered and folded in he tucked up his front legs by the process of hopping hopping and hopping and hopping so his front legs become very short he tucked means gathered and folded in he gathered and folded in he tucked up his front legs okay he had to still ran dingo angry dog dingo the kangaroo hopped and faster and faster he had to he tucked up he tuck he tucked up means gathered and folded in up his front legs okay so tucked means gathered and folded hop means jump high and leap okay answer orally spot the word describe the kangaroo when it looked like a rabbit and share it in the class spot the words that describe the kangaroo when it looked like a rabbit and share in the class what is the free what is the free a free is a boat that carries a people and goods across the river so spot the words means here the kangaroo look like a rabbit a woolly animal with a four legs very short and woolly animal okay clear so next is here you can see his friends legs became shorter his front legs became shorter he hopped with his back back legs hand legs hand legs are 
back back legs he front his front legs became shorter he hopped with his back legs his back legs became longer and stronger longer and stronger his tail became longer broader and stronger he is no longer look like a rabbit now the kangaroo what you look it is like now what the can- kangaroo you look like that is what it is now how it look like his front legs became shorter front legs become shorter he hopped with the back legs his back legs became longer and stronger his tail became longer and bolder and stronger he no longer look like a rabbit now he is no longer look like a rabbit okay poor dog dingo poor dog dingo he was tired of running he could not catch the kangaroo down sat the dingo he could not catch the kangaroo down sat the dingo he could not catch the kangaroo poor dog dingo angry dog dingo he was tired and running tired of running he could not catch the kangaroo down sat the dingo he could not catch the kangaroo the great god wong had kept his promise the great god wong had kept his promise the kangaroo was now different from all other animals what was the wish of the kangaroo the wish was the kangaroo was he want to be different and popular the great god wong had kept his promise the kangaroo was now different from all other animals that was the wish right how the kangaroo looks like initially it looks like a rabbit the woolly and a short animal okay right what was now the front legs are shorter the back legs are longer and stronger and his tail became a longer and broader and stronger right and no now it is no longer look like a rabbit okay for whom it met to the first the kangaroo how was the kangaroo initially how was the kangaroo the kangaroo was a very small animal looked like a rabbit okay the kangaroo initially looked like initially looked like a picture he was a small woolly animal he had a four short legs and looked like more like a rabbit he was very proud the kangaroo danced in a desert at the middle australia where we found the kangaroos we find found in the australia middle australia okay he was very proud the kangaroo danced in the desert at the middle australia he wanted to be different from all other animals he wanted to be popular so he went to the little god wall and said make me different from all other animals okay what initially the kangaroo looked as having a very short legs and woolly body woolly animal i need found in in middle australia in the desert and he wanted he wanted to become different from all other animals and he wanted to be popular so what he did is he went to the little god wong little god wall and said make me different from all other animals what the first little dog little god did up jumped the little god and shouted go away so the kangaroo danced in the desert in the middle australia okay he went to the middle god wong wing he went to the middle god wing and said make me different from all other animals and make me popular the middle middle god stood and without a smile said go away okay go away then kangaroo went to the great god wong and said make me different from all other animals make me very popular up jumped the great god shouted yes i will i will he called the dingo angry dog angry dog dingo who was always hungry and always thirsty wong shouted showed dingo the kangaroo and shouted dingo get up dingo do you see the kangaroo he wants to be popular make him so he wants to be popular make him so up jumped the dingo angry dog dingo he began after running after the kangaroo off went the kangaroo 
Off went the kangaroo on his four short legs like a rabbit. Like a rabbit. Right? Like a rabbit. He ran. Who ran? The kangaroo and the dingo. Dingo the angry dog. Right? He ran through the desert. He ran through the mountains. He ran through the swamps. He still, his front legs act. He ran till his front leg acted. Acted means paint. He had us to still. He had to. Still ran the dingo, angry dog dingo. Still ran that kangaroo, dear old kangaroo. Okay? He ran through the trees. He ran through the long grass. He ran through the short grass. He ran till his hand leg act. Hand leg, end legs means back legs. Right? Back legs. He had to. They ran till they left the desert behind and came to the river. Came to the river. Okay? They left the desert back and came to the river. There was no bridge. There was no bridge. There was no ferry. Ferry means a boat that carries the people and goods across the river. Across the river. Right? There was no bridge. There was no ferry. The kangaroo did not know how to cross the river. So, he sh stood on his legs and he began to hop. He hopped and hopped and hopped like uh, just like a kangaroo does now. Okay? How kangaroo does right now? He just, he won't run. He just hop, 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 hop like hopped and hopped and hopped. He ran. He had to. Still ran the dingo, angry dog dingo. The kangaroo hopped faster and faster. He had to. He tucked up. He tucked up his front legs. Tucked up means gathered and folded in. Gathered and folded in. Tucked up. He tucked up his front legs. Okay. Now, so here, his front legs became shorter. His front legs became shorter. He hopped with the back legs. His back legs became longer and stronger. His tail became uh, longer, broader and st stronger. His he no longer looked like a rabbit now. He no longer looked like a rabbit. Poor dog Dingo, angry dog Dingo. He ran. He was tired to running, tired of running. He couldn't catch the kangaroo. Down sat the Dingo. He couldn't catch the kangaroo. Poor, dang, poor dog Dingo, angry dog Dingo, he was tired of running, he could not catch the kangaroo. Down sat the Dingo, he could not catch the kangaroo. The great god Wong had kept his promise. What the promise? He is going to make him different. Earlier he was like a rabbit. He made him different and different and popular. Okay? The great god Wong had kept his promise the kangaroo was now different from all other animals. He was, he is right now, kangaroo looks very different and kangaroo is loved by everyone. He is the most popular animal. Right? The god Wong had kept his promise. Promise means, okay, somebody make a wish for them, you are going to make a fulfill. That is called a, a promise. Okay? You are going to assure that, you are going to fulfill that commitment. That is called as a promise. The great Wong had kept his promise. The kangaroo was now different from all other animals. Right? So here you can find the new uh, words, meanings of these words. Here, Uli means covered with wool. Desert means a dry sandy area where there is a hardly any rainfall. Liked by one and all. Popular. Popular means liked by one and all. Now we here we can see, Swaps means low-lying lands where water collected. Acre means paint. Hand means back. Ferry means a boat that carries the people, carries people and goods across a river. Hope means to jump high and leap. Tucked means gathered and tucked means gathered and folded in. Right? So these are the words for that you have a meanings. See my dear children. I am going to give you these meanings and the question answers in description. You just, below the video, you just tap it, tap down. There you find a description. There you are going to find these meanings. Or else I am going to share in the WhatsApp also. Right? 
let's answer now after reading understanding each and every word and sentence of this the kangaroo okay story of the kangaroo okay we need to answer the following questions so fill in the blanks or in scribbled and answer the questions like okay first the kangaroo was a small and woolly animal woolly or funny first the kangaroo was small and woolly animal you right woolly here he wanted to be different and popular or stranger he wanted to be different and popular he lived in australia or asia he lived in australia okay the desert was uh, in the middle of australia far end or middle desert was in the middle of australia the kangaroo hopped and crossed the river or swam what it did it hopped through the river right now unscribble the letters using the clues given in the back you back brackets right unscribble the letters using the clues in the brackets in bracket for help one has been done for you okay so s c d r e t means desert this you unscribble make a proper word desert a dry sandy area where hardly any rain fall that's called desert okay here someone who feels happy with oneself is proud r u d p o means proud someone who feels happy with oneself ferry so a boat that carries people and goods across a river is ferry r r f y e ferry okay a s m w p means swamp low lying land where water collects that's called sir i'll share the question answers through the whatsapp okay right then again we have let's explore time you learned that the strong hind legs of the kangaroo help them in while leaping how does their long muscular tail help them find out and discuss in the class okay just you have to search and try to understand the that exploring the concepts right let's learn the new words a word that has the same meaning as another word is called as a synonym means the alternate forms of the same word meaning the same word okay so a word that has the same meaning as another word is called a synonym for example swear twist jeev rock and words etc are the word that means dance dance means swa twist jeev rock words means the dance right etc are the words that means to dance dance swa twist twist jeev rock words etc are the word that means a dance these are the synonyms of the word dance right so again we have a synonyms of synonyms of the words that mean the same are almost the same same are almost the same the box contain the two synonyms for each of the word given below choose the right synonym and fill in the blanks okay here in the box they have given you the synonyms the words and the similar meaning in the box here are the cook cook here cook same meaning giving same meaning giving words are you need to find it here relax rattle bake dart unwind furious boil dash and enraged and jolt enraged and jolt so here cook means bake and boil these two words are nothing but cook bake bakery baking adige madodu boil andru kutsodu it's the forms of cook the meanings of the cook bake and boil are same rest means relax unwind unwind run means dash and dart run means dash and dart angry means furious and enraged angry means furious and un- enraged shake means rattle and jolt okay these are the words here you need to find from the box we need to find the two synonyms of the word cook cook means bake cook 
bake and boil are giving you the same meaning rest relax and unwind gives you the same meaning run dash dart gives you the same meaning okay angry furious and en enraged gives you the same meaning shake rattle and jolt gives you the same meaning the same meaning giving words are called as are called as synonyms synonyms okay right so that's all about synonyms you also find from the dictionary you also find the same meaning words same meaning giving words they are called as a synonyms for that is for you can you can write the synonym means you should have the word power more the word power you should have to have the meaning you want to if you are to have the uh, know the meaning of each and every word then only you can able to find out the synonyms for that okay you should understand you should know the meaning of the word then only you can find the meanings of the synonym of the same word otherwise no right so let's learn grammar let's learn grammar okay here subject and predicate subject and predicate okay what are subject and what are predicate that we are going to learn in this part take a look for are the following sentences why is one part of the sentence being shown in the bold letter he was small woolly animal here he is a subject he is a subject was a small and woolly animal was a small and woolly animal he is a subject small and woolly animal small and woolly are called as predicate predicate the kangaroo hopped faster and faster okay hopped faster and faster here faster and faster what it did it's in going to get the how kangaroo hop more faster and faster that's nothing but predicate we are going to predicate to a subject here subject is he and the kangaroo here in the second sentence the kangaroo hopped faster and faster and the first sentence he was a small woolly animal all right he is called as a subject the kangaroo is called as the subject here, here small and woolly animal small and woolly animals are predicate the predicate the dress was very pretty the dress was very pretty here dress is a subject and very pretty is a predicate okay the puppy looks very cute puppy looks very cute the puppy is subject and very cute is a predicate okay the pink roses in the rose plant looks very beautiful very beautiful here very beautiful is a predicate and a rose is a subject right so like this we will have learn more examples on the subject and a predicate okay a sentence has two parts the first part of the sentence is called subject it tells us who or what is being talked about what is being talked about means who how and what is being talked about that is called predicate the second part is called as a predicate it tells more about the subject okay so raju is a very intelligent guy here intelligent guy is a predicate raju is the subject okay predicate explains you how the subject is it is going to explain you how the subject is is going to explain you about the subject right so the second part is called as a predicate it tells you more about the subject tells what the subject does are about the subject right the kangaroo is the subject hopped faster and faster is predicate hopped faster and faster is predicate okay right clear hope you understood right here hopped faster and faster is the predicate and the kangaroo is kangaroo is the subject now we have to work more on subject and predicate 
Okay. Here you can see though, circle the subjects and underline the predicates. Circle the subject and underline the predicates. So here we need to circle the subjects. Okay. So here, home cooked food, home cooked food is good for health. Home cooked food is the subject. Home cooked food is the subject and good for health is predicate. Okay. Is predicate. Maria is traveling to Shillong. Traveling to Shillong is the predicate. Maria is the subject. You have to circle the subject and underline the predicate. The snail is crawling under a plant. A snail is a subject. Crawling under a plant is predicate. Okay. The frogs are croaking. Croaking is predicate. And frogs are subject. The elephant calves. Calf means a baby elephant. Calves means baby ele elephants. Okay. The elephant cows are. Elephant cows are the subject. Are playing in the water is the predicate. Okay. Clear? Hope you understood. Right. So here home cooked food is good for health. This is a sentence. Here the subject is home cooked food is good for health is predicate maria is subject traveling to shalong the snail is crawling the snail is the subject and crawling is the predicate frogs the frogs are croaking the frogs are subject and croaking is predicate the elephant calves are playing in water the elephant calves are playing in water elephant calves are subject and playing in the water is predicate what exactly the subject is that it is telling the predicate tells the predicate right so hope you understood the synonyms on the subject and predicate synonyms subject and predicate and subject verb agreements subject verb agreements what is subject verb agreement read the following sentences and look at the highlighted words Read the following sentences and look at the highlighted words. I am going to market. I am going to the market. Raghu was in a Raghu has a garden. Look at the monkey. It is climbing on the wall. Renu, uh, Renu was writing a letter when I went home. Renu was writing a letter when I went home. Right? I am going to the market. Raghu has a garden. Look at the monkey. It is climbing on the wall. Renu was writing a letter when I went home. So, when a subject is a singular, when subject is a singular, it makes a singular verb such as am, has, is, was. Alright? Am, has, is, was. Is a singular. Is the singular. The verb am is used to, used only with the subject I. With the subject I. Whenever I comes, then only we have to use the am. I am. You are. The singular I am talking about. Singular means I am. He is. She is. And it is. Okay. Am is. Was. Let, later we will discuss about was. Am and is. I am going to market. Okay. She is coming to the school. She is coming to the school. Okay. This is all about he is going to a garden. He is going to a garden. Okay. He is going to collect the stamps. He is going to collect the stamps. He is, she is, it is and I am. I am always come to the subject before the subject I. Okay. To the subject I, whenever you find the subject I, then you have to use am. He, she, it, they are the third persons. He, she, it, these are the third person. That time you have to use the is. Is, right? Clear. Then in the past tense, this is a singular form in the present continuous tense. Whereas in the past tense, we have to use I was. I was. He was, she was, it was, 
all the all the, almost all and the same uh, subject for all the subject you are going to use the in a singular you are going to use the was in the past continuous tense i was going to a mumbai i was going to a mumbai i was going to my friend's home okay i was i was visited last week so like like that if you want to say about the past past that time you have to use the was what about have and has okay i have the perfect tense i have okay i have he she it it he has she has it has he has she has it has i have i have in the singular okay more about in the plural forms plural forms here in the singular you also i we you you he they she they it they right like this it will come i have sorry i am we are in the plural form we have to use the r in the plural form you have to use the r you are you are you are you are when singular you and a plural you we are going to find the both the us you have to use r a r r a r r for both the singular and plural us you have to use the r he is she is it is they are he is they are she is they are it is they are okay whenever plural forms comes we have to use a r e and as well as the singular u singular u u u i v u u he they she they it they like this it will come right i am we are you are you are he is they are she is they are it is they are like this we need to write okay then it's all about the past tense the singular as well as the plural i was you were you were w e r e were you were you were you were he he was they were she was they were it was they were like this we need to write i have we have you have you have he she it has they have where to use have and where to use have has right i have we have you have you have she has he has it has but they have in the plural form we have to use the have this is all about this this is called verb agreement okay whenever whenever there is i comes that is the subject we have to use am and you in the singular also we have to use the have you have to use the have right we have to use the have and in the third person we have to use the has in the plural form you have to use the have right clear was is the same was singular was plural were when you in the singular comes that time also we use the were i was we were you were you were he she it was they were okay this is how the subject verb agreement forms okay so i will explain you more about this so read these sentences we are going to home they are speaking to their father they were running after the horse they were point painted the wall neatly when a subject is plural when a subject is plural it takes a plural verb such as are and were and have plural are were and have remember the subject you takes the verb are whether it's a singular or a plural singular means singular means and plural means what do you mean by singular and plural means one and many i am he is she is it is adu onde it is singular navu avru avu bandaga plural anta karitar singular and a plural right here in english we find we you and they are called plural forms 
I, you, and he, she, it is called a singular form. Okay. So, to take a verb or whether the singular or plural, when a subject is takes an correct verb, we call it as a subject verb agreement. When a subject takes a correct verb, we call it as a subject verb agreement. This is called as a agreement. What is the agreement between the subject and the verb? When a subject is plural, when a subject is plural, it takes a plural verb such as are, where and have. Remember the subject you takes a verb are, whether it is singular or plural. This point you have to remember. When the subject makes a correct verb, we call it as verb agreement. When a subject takes a correct verb, we call it as a subject agreement. Okay. Fill in the blanks with the correct verb from the brackets. Those people are. Are generu. I love generu. Generu andra bada plural. How the many. Right. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of verbs from the bracket. Those people are very. Those people are. Those people are very good at English. Is or are. Are. Those people and many people are. This box has six sides. Have or has. Has. This box means it. This is nothing but it. It is the third. Third person. This box has six sides. Not have six sides. Okay. Right. Then her book, her work is neat. Are neat or is neat. Her and the she. Her work is neat. She is a dance instructor. She is, not am, she is our dance instructor. Next week, my cousins are, is a, are. Next week, my cousins are coming home. Next week, my cousins are coming home. Right? So, after this, we will have a language lab. Let's learn the sounds. Say these words aloud. Milk, bank, rank, silk. You must have to notice that the letter K that comes at the end of each of these words make the K sound as ink and is also spelled as K. Notice, now notice these words. Brick, slick, chick and pick. Right? CK is also K. CK is also K. When K is, K is also K. The letter CK makes K sound too. However, it is spelt as K. K. A word that ends with a K sound spelt as K or CK depends on the short and long vowels and the long vowel consonants order that comes before the end K sound. Learning a few rules in it will help you to spell these words correctly. Right? So K rule number one. The all consonant order decide the final K, final K sound that should be spelt as K or CK, K. We spell K sound with a letter K if the oval followed by a consonant before the end of K. So here milk, milk, so before the K consonant is there, not a oval. Before the K sound. L is there, so it's a consonant, not the oval. Then we have to take it as a long oval, oval consonant. The order is oval consonant, I, L, K, ilk, milk. Okay, I, L, K, right? The bank, the order in the oval consonant is ank, k, right? The rule number two states that when, when do we use CK K when the word ends with a K sound the end sound is spelt as CK okay CK if it is one syllable or with the short vowel CK is short vowel K is long vowel remember it is not a short vowel we do not spell it as K or sound as CK sound silk 
slick trick pick look at the picture call out their names sky which spelling ends with k and the letter which ends with the ck right clear so just you have to read and understand this okay you have to read and understand more thoroughly right so chick socks mark candlestick duck brick okay k chick where here we find the oval no other than the consonants here we call it as a ck k oval o mark is a consonant k only not ck stick ck this i is a oval sound duck is a oval sound brick is a oval sound whenever there is a oval before the k then ck will come when is the consonant will be followed then k will come this is called ck chick socks mark and candlestick duck brick these are short oval sounds whereas when milk bank rank silk that time it's a long oval sound this is a short oval sound okay let's listen and speak snail can't sleep for more than a day at the stretch a snail can't sleep a snail can't sleep more than a day at a stretch it's a false the snail may, may sleep for more than years together this is a false okay mosquitoes are species of monkeys species of monkeys found in japan macaques macaques are the species of monkeys found in japan it's true squirrel adopt orphan squirrel babies true butterflies taste their tongue butterflies taste with their tongue it's a false snake have eyelid false okay so this is what something you are enhancing your knowledge using the language lab okay hope you understood the whole lesson whole lesson and if at all you find any doubts the kangaroo how the kangaroo got its legs okay so this is lesson and as well as the grammar part conversation here we have some conversation you have to do the conversation with your group okay and maybe the uh, tom and jerry you see chota bim you see okay and where what are the movie cartoons you see that we see in the hindi or english language if when you see the in english language you try to make your own conversations okay all right here look at the following examples kangaroo make a different from all other world animals little god ball go away okay now read the story again and write the conversation between the kangaroo and the great wong in the dialogue form okay so value for value and skills we can get from this lesson the kangaroo wanted to be different and popular do you think that one can be both it's a good is it a good to have a such wish share with your views in your class okay so you are going to have the wish called you want to be different and you want to be popular that's a good one right you want to be different and you want to be popular liked by everyone that's a good thing right okay you just share that what all you want to become how all you want to become how you want to become so that you with your friends neighbors or your family members right because the schools are not working so you can't able to share with the schoolmates it's interesting kangaroo escapes from other animals that kills exactly as how it described in the story it either jumps into a water body or in the or in an excellent swimmer or it can leap or cross a long distance which makes the difficult for its enemy to catch it okay kangaroo are very different and popular right you learned that the plant eating animals are called herbivores kangaroo eats grass flowers and leaves are they 
herbivores discussed in the class yes kangaroos are in the the plant eating animals are called herbivores right clear so one more thing i want to explain so here as i told you that this is singular singular and plural plural okay i is the singular o is the plural right here u is a singular u is a plural right he is the singular and they are the plurals she is the singular and they plural it is a singular and they is plural right so here we can see singular and a plural okay singular and a plurals so whenever you find this singular singular you write am i am i is a subject i is a subject and am is the verb am is the verb this is called verbal agreement here whenever you find a singular i you write am i am i am going to the market i am going to the movie i am going to the park like this you need to say right we are this is the plural we a r e r we are right we are you are even though you is a stands in the singular you write a r e r this is called verb agreement you are okay you are i am we are you are you is a singular being you as a singular being you as a singular you need to write a r e r a r e r and u r u r u r the singular u and plural u both for both you need to say we need to write r okay he is he is she is it is he is she is it is they are they are they are right they are so this is called as the i am going to school as the i is the singular you is the singular he is the singular she is the singular and it is the singular these are called singulars and these are called plurals these are one and these are many okay so i am you are even you is the singular you have to write r he is she is it is we are you are they are they are they are okay singular and a plural i am i am we are you are you are he is they are she is they are it is they are okay like this we need to understand the verb and the subject agreement subject and the verb agreement okay so next what all we have learnt is use of have and has have and has the singular i we plural you singular right use plural he singular they plural right she singular and they plural it singular they plural right so use of have and has we have to write i have we have i have we have you have right you have whereas third person this is the first person second person third person he she it are called as a third person first and second persons right the singular and this is plural he has right he has she has it has okay they have they have right they have so try to understand this i have we have you have you have he he has they have she has they have it has they have this is singular again singular and a plural 
plural singular and a plural right singular and a plural okay singular and a plural i have we have you have you have he has she has it has they have okay they are first person second person and these three are called as a third person this is third person this is second person this is first person okay clear this is what the this is what the use of have and has this is called subject and a verb agreement and one more subject and a verb agreement is past continuous tense right so singular singular plural plural here we find here we find i singular we plural you singular again you plural he singular they plural she sing singular they plural it singular it singular and they plural right so here what all we can learn is use of past this is the present i am we are the present continuous thing i am we are you are you are he is they are she is they are it is they are just you see once you can understand this when wherever subject i comes we have to use am am and being uh, you as a singular we have to use are we have to use are these two things and the plural forms wherever the plural forms are there we have to use are a r e r but wherever the singular forms of third person is there that time we have to use is this is called verb subject verb agreement right subject verb agreement this is a first person first person this is a second person and third person it is is a singular and a plural and here in the past continuous tense what you have to use is i was i was going to the market okay she was going to the market she went so do they were we are to i was we were we were you were you were right he was they were she was they were it was they were right first person i was second person you were third person he was she was it was we were you were they were they were they were being you as a singular you as a singular whenever you comes we have to use are or were are or were i was we were you were you were he was the were she was the were it was the were okay were w e r e were they were okay i am we are you are you are he is she is it is and they are we are you are they are okay this is all about is called as a subject i we you you he she it and they are called as subjects and before the sub after the subject we have to use the verb verb which verb we have to use am are was were have or has that is called subject agreement i am we are you are you are he is they are she is they are it is they are like this we have to use okay hope you understood the subject and the verb agreement subject and the verb agreement okay so hope you understood this lesson the kangaroo how the kangaroo the third lesson how the kangaroo okay so this lesson is over the third lesson of uh, third standard how the kangaroo got its legs okay got its legs
right hope you understood if at all you find any doubts you may give me a call between 10 am to 5 pm okay thank you